Welcome to St. Helena Ministries Daily Prayer with the Divine Office. Today is Sunday of the 20th week in Ordinary Time. Don't forget, there are only five days left to register for our retreat. The retreat will be held Saturday, September 7th, and is entitled, Helping Your Spouse Get to Heaven. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come worship the Lord, for we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Alleluia. Come, worship the Lord, for we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, worship the Lord, for we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Alleluia. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come worship the Lord, for we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Alleluia. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Come worship the Lord, for we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Alleluia. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come worship the Lord, for we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Alleluia. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. Come, worship the Lord, for we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, worship the Lord, for we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Alleluia. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to Thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, Blessed Trinity. Holy, 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 all the saints adore thee, though the eye of sinful man thy glory may not see. Only thou art holy, There is none beside thee, which were and are and evermore shall be. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, all thy works shall praise thy name, in earth and sky and sea. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Who can climb the Lord's mountain or stand in his holy place? The Lord's is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things, who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him. Seek the face of the God of Jacob. 
O gates, lift high your heads, grow taller ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant. The Lord, the valiant in war. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is he, the King of glory? He, the Lord of armies. He is the King of glory. When your son was unjustly condemned, Lord God, and surrounded by the impious, he cried to you, and you set him free. Watch over your people as the treasure of your heart, and guide their steps along safe paths that they may see your face. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Who can climb the Lord's mountain, or stand in his holy place? Bless our God, you nations of the world. He has given us life. Alleluia. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. O sing to the glory of his name. O render him glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous your deeds. Because of the greatness of your strength, your enemies cringe before you. Before you, all the earth shall bow, shall sing to you, sing to your name. Come and see the works of God, tremendous his deeds among men. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the river dry shod. Let our joy then in, be in him. He rules forever by his might. His eyes keep watch over the nations. Let rebels not rise against him. O peoples, bless our God. Let the voice of his praise resound, of the God who gave life to our souls and kept our feet from stumbling. For you, O God, have tested us. You have tried us as silver is tried. You led us, God, into the snare. You laid a heavy burden on our backs. You let men ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water. But then you brought us relief. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Bless our God, you nations of the world. He has given us life. Alleluia. Listen to me, all you who revere God. Let me tell you what great things he has done for me. Alleluia. Burnt offering I bring to your house. To you I will pay my vows, the vows which my lips have uttered, which my mouth spoke in my distress. I will offer burnt offerings of fatlings with the smoke of burning rams. I will offer bullocks and goats. Come and hear all who fear God. I will tell you what he did for my soul. To him I cried aloud with high praise ready on my tongue. If there had been evil in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. But truly God has listened. He has heeded the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God who did not reject my prayer nor withhold his love from me. Almighty Father, in the death and resurrection of your own Son, you brought us through the waters of baptism to the shores of new life. By those waters and the fire of the Holy Spirit, you have given each of us consolation. Accept our sacrifice of praise. May our lives be a total offering to you, and may we deserve to enter your house and there with Christ praise your unfailing power. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Listen to me, all you who revere God. Let me tell you what great things he has done for me. Alleluia. God's word is alive. It strikes to the heart. It pierces more surely than a two-edged sword. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. In the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated on a high and lofty throne, with the train of his garment filling the temple. Seraphim were stationed above. Each of them had six wings. With two they veiled their faces. With two they veiled their feet, and with two they hovered aloft. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, they cried one to the other. 
All the earth is filled with his glory. At the sound of that cry, the frame of the door shook, and the house was filled with smoke. Then I said, Woe is me, I am doomed, for I am a man of unclean lips, living among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, holding an ember which he had taken with tongs from the altar. He touched my mouth with it. See, he said, now that this has touched your lips, your wickedness is removed, your sin purged. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Here I am, I said, send me. And he replied, Go and say to this people, Listen carefully, but you shall not understand. Look intently, but you shall know nothing. You are to make the heart of this people sluggish, to dull their ears and close their eyes. Else their eyes will see, their ears hear, their heart understand, and they will turn and be healed. How long, O Lord? I asked. And he replied, Until the cities are desolate, without inhabitants, houses without a man, and the earth is a desolate waste. Until the Lord removes men far away, and the land is abandoned more and more. If there be still a tenth part in it, then this in turn shall be laid waste. As with a terebinth or an oak, whose trunk remains when its leaves have fallen. Holy offspring is the trunk. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, He who was and who is and who is to come. All the earth is full of His glory. The seraphim cried out to one another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. All the earth is full of his glory. A reading from a homily on Matthew by St. John Chrysostom. Bishop, you are the salt of the earth. It is not for your own sake, he says, but for the world's sake that the word is entrusted to you. I am not sending you into two cities, only, or ten or twenty, not to a single nation as I sent the prophets of old, but across land and sea to the whole world. And that world is in a miserable state, for when he says you are the salt of the earth, he is indicating that all mankind has lost its savor and has been corrupted by sin. Therefore he requires of these men those virtues which are especially useful and even necessary if they are to bear the burdens of many. For the man who is kindly, modest, merciful, and just will not keep his good works to himself, but will see to it that these admirable fountains send out their streams for the good of others. Again, the man who is clean of heart, a peacemaker, and ardent for truth, will order his life so as to contribute to the common good. Do not think, he says, that you are destined for easy struggles or unimportant tasks. You are the salt of the earth. What do these words imply? Did the disciples restore what had already turned rotten? Not at all. Salt cannot help what is already corrupted. That is not what they did. But what had first been renewed and freed from corruption and then turned over to them, they salted and preserved in the newness the Lord had bestowed. It took the power of Christ to free men from the corruption caused by sin. It was the task of the apostles, through strenuous labor, to keep that corruption from returning. Have you noticed how, bit by bit, Christ shows them to be superior to the prophets? He says they are to be teachers not simply for Palestine, but for the whole world. Do not be surprised then, he says, that I address you apart from the others and involve you in such a dangerous enterprise. Consider the numerous and extensive cities, peoples, and nations I will be sending you to govern. For this reason I would have you make others prudent, as well as being prudent yourselves. For unless you can do that, you will not be able to sustain even yourselves. If others lose their savor, then your ministry will help them regain it. But if you yourselves suffer that loss, you will drag others down with you. Therefore, the greater the undertakings put into your hands, the more zealous you must be. 
For this reason, he says, but if the salt becomes tasteless, how can its flavor be restored? It is good for nothing now but to be thrown out and trampled by men's feet. When they hear the words, when they curse you and persecute you and accuse you of every evil, they may be afraid to come forward. Therefore he says, unless you are prepared for that sort of thing, it is in vain that I have chosen you. Curses shall necessarily be your lot, but they shall not harm you and will simply be a testimony to your constancy. If through fear, however, you fail to show the forcefulness your mission demands, your lot will be much worse, for all will speak evil of you and despise you. That is what being trampled by men's feet means. Then he passes on to a more exalted comparison. You are the light of the world. Once again, of the world, not of one nation or twenty cities, but of the whole world. The light he means is an intelligible light, far superior to the rays of the sun we see, just as salt is a spiritual salt. First salt, then light, so that you may learn how profitable sharp words may be, and how useful serious doctrine. Such teaching holds in check and prevents dissipation. It leads to verse, virtue and sharpens the mind's eye. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do men light a lamp and put it under a basket. Here again he is urging them to a careful manner of life and teaching them to be watchful for they live under the eyes of all and have the whole world for the arena of their struggles. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses to the ends of the earth. Your light must shine before men, so that they may see your good works and give praise to your Father in heaven. And you will be my witnesses to the ends of the earth. You are God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the Eternal Father. All creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glory, glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not spurn the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Let us pray. God our Father, may we love you in all things and above all things, and reach the joy you have prepared for us beyond all our imagining. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord and give him thanks. Thank you for praying with me today. Don't forget to join us for our Sunday Rosary live stream tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern. It's over on our YouTube channel. Please also like, share, follow, subscribe, and drop us a comment on whichever platforms you use. Pray for us and know of our continued prayers for you. Have a blessed day.